some cubayon today. I'm gonna show you how to make it. We got some red beans and we got some Spanish rice. So the first thing you want to do with the cubayon is you want to cut up some. Um, you get your garlic. You get like two two cloves of garlic. You get uh, a whole onion, and you get like a little little basket. They have a little basket of the mushrooms. So you want to do that. And I'm gonna show you how you put it in here. And you get put a little wine in the, in the, in the bottom of a pan. Check it out. Okay, this is where you add the tomato sauce. Add tomato sauce. Uh, this is 29 ounces. So with the 29 ounces of tomato sauce, you want to add a net weight of six ounces six ounces of your tomato paste Ooh, yes. get it all in there and, and uh, you also when you add your salt you want to put about this much salt uh, uh, you know that much in your hand and then you just kind of dump it in there Okay, I take the cubeon. This is the um, the salmon. I just stick it in a bowl like this. You know, I don't have all the right cooking utensils because this is a low budget down this kitchen. <laughs> so you stick it in the microwave, thaw it out, put it for about say uh, I'm gonna go for two minutes, and no cooking is complete. Oh, very good. Let me tell you what kind of wine this is. This is Rosemont Cabernet Merlot. It's a good tasting wine. It's very good. Mm. So that's added to the sauce, and all the the alcohol evaporates when you're cooking. So therefore, you have the flavor of the wine without the alcohol, because the alcohol does evaporate. So it's you know. Kids can eat this meal and it's not such a, they're not going to be walking around going, boy, am I buzzed. Now here, we have the water boiling for our Spanish rice. You dump the Spanish rice in here like this, and you stir, you stir, you give it some love, you stir your tomato sauce and your mushrooms and your onions and, the, oh man, it's going to be great. And right here, I have the red beans. The red beans getting made. And there, you hear the fish has is ready to come home. Cause swim in different waters. And so hopefully swim down in your belly. Now stir this up really good right there. This takes a long time to make. This is red beans. They have to soak. So what I'm gonna do is just this. Not even worry about that. That's not for today's dinner anyway. That's like stuff that I'm going to freeze and put in the microwave. Okay, so basically what we got here is the Spanish rice. You throw that away there. We've got the Spanish rice. That's being made. This is basically almost done. You see what I'm saying? So now, we add the cubeon. We take the fish, we add it to the sauce. That's the fish. It's still a little bit, yeah. Just kind of turn this up. Break it up a bit. There we go. Yeah. See how you, you want to break it up. You say, okay, okay, fish, break it. It's going to be pretty good here. I like to do this because then you save money from, you know, restaurants and stuff like that. I went to this one place, man, it's called Les Sister. Went there for lunch. A little hot, the bowl's a little hot. Went there for lunch, and they charged me. The guy says, would you like a cup of gumbo or a bowl? I said, well, give me the bowl. And they charged me $14 for a bowl of gumbo. It had a lot of seafood in it, but you know, I felt like I was kind of tricked into it. 
because on the menu it said for uh, six dollars for lunch. If you take, turn the menu over and it's dinner time, and that was there at lunch time. So that's fine, but they should just tell you well the bowl is fourteen dollars. It's a lot. And all the iced tea you can drink. I had some iced tea, man. That iced tea was so. I, I just. That's when I just came from the gym, and I. Uh, what I did was I swam a mile. And I sat in a jacuzzi for about an hour, and so I was thirsty. I drank three big. Big, jugs of iced tea. Speaking of thirsty. I'm going to have a little bit more of this wine, yep. Oh, that's good. So today's date is March 27th, 2003. I'm almost finished doing my taxes. I have to take my uh, bank statements and type them into my computer. That way my accountant can sort out what which is my, my business expense and my, my grocery expense and all that stuff. But I tell you, man, that's one thing I, I can't do is do secretary stuff. I mean, everybody in this world was cut out to do certain things. You know, football players are cut out to play football. Secretaries are meant to have the patience to sit there and do that computer work. Entertainers entertain, you know. It's like the people in the military, you know, they feel sorry for the guys, but, you know, it's like the ants, they have soldiers, everybody's born to do their thing. God has a plan for everyone. And in the end, God takes care of you because he owns your soul. Did you know that? He owns your soul. So what you going to do on here on earth, he's giving you a choice, baby. You go with Jesus, accept him as your Lord and Savior, and you go his way. Man, God, he, he, he blesses you. Beyond, he guides you. He's, he's your remote control. You know, you can't try to figure out up here what's going on because you're never going to figure it out. But when you put it in God's hands, like you lose your job, and then you start freaking out and you go, wait a minute. God gave me this job. Why is he taking it away? He's taking it away because he has plans for you to do something better. Every time he closes the door for me, he opens another one that's, that's, that's better for me. So with God having him in my life, man, it made everything so beautiful. Look at all this fish. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Then you add the rice to it. Shoot. It's going to be so good. Oh, I wish you, I wish you could taste this. Mmm. <clears throat> I am very proud of my slayer. Now we take this rice. See this root? Yeah, it's getting there. Let it simmer a little bit more. Let it simmer a little bit more. And then I must take a little break and have some of this wine here. It's so good. Ah. I bought this program for my um, computer. It's called uh, Cap Wiz. It's supposed to, you know, it's supposed to be able to take your videos from your VCR and download it to your computer, and then you can put it on a CD. But everything I buy, it seems not. It seems to have problems working. I just have bad luck in picking, you know, things that just work. Is it? Wouldn't it be great if you just bought something and, and you you finally got the money to save up to buy it and you buy it and it just works? Not here. I get products. Even the people on the on the telephone, the technical support people, they don't even know how to help me. Well, they're like, well, we never we never run into this problem. But the computer I have, I'm dropping everything here. The Q computer I have might be a, the problem there. It's a compact. It's a compact computer. Windows Me Millennium. And like, you know, 
my brother says, man, you have a lot of, you have a lot of memory on there. I used it all up. He can't, he can't fathom the fact of using all that memory. I said, I'm going to need more memory because this thing, I, I have so many different things going on. But anyway, I think it's time for me to add the rice. Here we go, a little bit of rice. See, it all goes hand in hand. This is Kubeon from the school of California. California cooking, Donnie's cooking. Welcome to Donnie's Kitchen. I'm all up. You guys, you know what? You're all up in my kitchen. <laughs> as long as you ain't all up in my Kool-Aid, because some people want to get all up in Kool-Aid and don't even know what flavor it is. Okay, here we go. Looking good? This is very good. This is going to be so good, it make you slap your mama. I wish I had a little audience here to, for someone to taste this. Oh, my God. It's so good. Mm. You're going to love it. When I come back, I'm going to show you how to eat this. And this is how it is served. Just put it on the plate. And I don't necessarily eat it with anything else. Just this. Just this right here. Thank you for coming to Don's Kitchen. Until next time, peace. I see you. God bless you. Thank you, Lord, for this meal I'm receiving. I love you. Remember, keep praying. God is great. Jesus loves you. He wants to, he wants to be in your heart. He wants you to ask him. So will you do that, please? Will you do that? Don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. Good night. Just a dealer. Budget and Rider TRS are working together to improve truck rental. Yeah, rates starting in 1995. And a service where our movers help load and unload the trucks. Can we make load and unload even better? Roller skates to make the move even faster. Hmm? Oh, 
They don't need roller skates. Yeah, no, no, not roller skates, but load and unload. Load and unload. Yeah, that's a terrific idea. Yeah. 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 Yeah.